Hey everyone. So you're able to order this box right now. They just reopened um, who could purchase it. They did their pre-orders and now they're doing kind of that reintroduction. So I'm here a year later to let you know what I used in this box, what I thought about it, just to give you a hands-on review. Here I am opening it up. Oh, we got that nice little card from the don'ts. Let's get to the stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. This is an 18 minute video. It could have could have been shorter. I really thought I condensed this down, but I did not. All right. So it's an ornament of the Missouri Star. I really like this. I like the color. I I appreciated this. A lot of people didn't like having the ornament. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> it was the first thing on my tree. I saved that charm pack and later on there's a, a pattern that you can use it with and um, I made the pattern but I didn't use this charm pack and now like it's kind of a unique color scheme <laughs> so now I just have that around. I'll use it. I liked it. But like the teal and red for Christmas colors, a little modern for me. I like classic red and green. So here's the pattern. I did make that and a lot of one inch squares up in here. <laughs> it was difficult. I still have that fabric around. I haven't used it. I should just make that whole pattern again with the mugs. It's cute. <laughs> cute as is. Like the fabrics I ended up using for it weren't as fun. Yeah, a binder and a pattern. I mean, that's a good deal for a day. I don't really use this binder. You had to buy more inserts for it and the inserts that it came with are too small to fit the patterns in. They're just a little tight. So I have this, it's around, not really used. But see, I, I like the idea a lot. If I buy the inserts for it, I'd use it all the time. And they're nice quality and they're just small. Nothing fits in them. I have those in my laundry room and I've never used them. Iron cleaner and the spray. I should, but I just, that hasn't come up. I don't think about it. I've got my industrial starch that I love a lot and I don't clean my iron cause I don't use a lot of the mechanisms on it to spray and get it all gunked up. Plus they usually like break before they get too dirty. Just, uh, especially if you have a kitty cat, it's gonna knock it over or a little kid that's gonna pull a cord. I didn't really love that when I opened it, but my husband thought it was nice and he hung it in the garage for me where I park and it's really grown on me now. That's my spot and that's my sign. <laughs> so I, I did, it, it grew on me and it's a nice metal. It's not a plastic. I, I should just throw that out. It is not quality material. It's no, like I don't like any of those designs. I don't know where I would put those. Yeah, that one that wasn't a win. And I've seen that one go up for like giveaways a lot. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sitting right next to that right now. That This button jar makes me so happy. I love it so much. Like it just sits next to me all the time. So yeah, I, I love that. And it's got a little duck in it. Do I find the duck soon? Mm. Oh, but I didn't make that pattern. I saw people try to make it and struggle with it. So I I set that out and just enjoyed the jar of buttons. So there's fabric and a pattern. I still have the fabric and I don't plan on making the pattern. Because, so it's a button pillow pattern. Oh, and I have that, oh, that is a good pencil, that white pencil. I've, I've yeah, I've used that down to the nub. When you're doing applique, that white pencil's money. <laughs> But um, yeah, you need buttons for the pattern, but the buttons that you got didn't work for the pattern. You needed a specific size and arrangement and you got like colorful buttons. I had three advent boxes and they all came with that prim love needle threader, but we also had the quilting needles. I really enjoy the needles, but I don't even like that needle threader. And I had three of them. <laughs> so I gave some of those away. Their thread is really thick. Um, it's it's too thick for piecing for me because it'll make your seams really thick. So I still have it and I intend to use it. That teal is a tough color to use. Um, maybe for 
quilting on top if you want to see the thread that'd be a good thread to use i love this um it's really satisfying to load up all your needles the only problem is that with 10 needles if you have colors that are similar it's hard to keep track of them um so i kind of fell out of love with it i really loved loved using it at first and i still have it but i don't think you can have 10 unique enough colors and not get them mixed up for threading i did not make this tree pattern and and i'm not that excited but i still have it i think when my son's older we'll have fun putting that together but it's not something i really wanted to do on my own i keep forgetting to use this it, it's great no actually i don't okay so i lost this for a long time i found it forgot to use it and i found that if i tie a knot close to my needle um, I don't really worry about those knots that you would use a conditioner for. So I found it, but I kind of found another way to avoid like that knot with the dry thread. You just make a little knot right at your needle. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the case is awesome. These little stickers, I never figured out what to do with them. Um, people gave them to like their little kids for like little play manicure sets, but uh, I didn't have any use for little BB stickers. Maybe if I put them in like my planner, that would be fun. But that's a nice case, nice hard shell. I can't think of what I have stored in that though. I have it and love it, but maybe I'm saving it too much that I need to put something in there. <laughs> so I would have wanted this if I didn't get it in this box. I was excited to get it. Um, but I never, I've used it a few times, but I have to really be intentional about having it there ready to take all my pieces and split them with this. I don't, I just, just get a little pair of snip scissors, cut your pieces apart just as fast. I never, I still have it. It's cute. I like it on my desk. Oh, I love this mug. It is in my, <laughs> it's in my rotation. I don't like sewing puns. <laughs> Like, I don't like that side of it, but it's a good mug. Solid. It's a nice color. I use it all the time, even if I don't like the pun on it and <laughs> find that a little silly. Oh, I keep meaning, I have this, like, it's right on my desk. I keep meaning to make it. I think my son's going to enjoy it. I was going to make it last year for his stocking stuffer because he was really into ducks. So now I got to give it to him this year. This little calendar, like I made it to January 18th and then I never turned the day again. So I put that in my Goodwill pile and someone out there has it. Some people loved it and really wanted it. So I wished I would have hung on to it a little longer when someone was asking for it, but I, I don't keep up with those ca calendars. You gotta switch over every day. And I don't like sewing puns. <laughs> so that's another so amazing, <laughs> I just say. It's just not for me. Um, I still have the whole charm pack and I'll use it for applique. Like every once in a while I just need a little square of a certain color and that's what I reach for. So it's good to have, but I haven't used it all up. I have made that and I love it. I just made that. <laughs> this is in my previous video. And it was super easy with those laser cut applique and you just fuse them right on and then stitch on top of them. I just don't like raw edge applique and that really like confirmed it for me. I really like the needle turn. I don't use any of that. It's around, but it is unused. Like what do you, what do you store? Like what three fabrics would I store for these? Nah, if you bought the whole set and kept going with it, it'd be useful. Oh, I haven't made this, but now I see it and remember it, I want to make it. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put it into the rotation. I never used it. I just don't have a lot of trust in it. I think that they would wear off really quickly. I'd rather just embroider labels rather than do a, an iron on. But I should use them for like wall hangs that you're not going to wash anyways. I'll try it out. And then the tray. I do use my love. I love their color scheme. So their brain and stuff doesn't bother me. Okay. So that was the grand finale. And I did reorder this for, for this year to come. I don't think I'll unbox it all at once again, but <laughs> I did enjoy it. And I think it was worth the money and I had a lot of fun. So hopefully that helps you with your decision and let me know what you think.